looking for something. A new way, a new understanding, a connection, some comfort. You've got questions, and Light on Living puts the spotlight on all the answers so you can shine. Lift and lighten the load of life's challenges and learn simple and easy ways to live a healthy, happy life. You'll gain insight and start to see things in a new way that motivates you. You're invited to hear new, see different, and feel more as Lisa shines the light on living. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Light on Living in our special show that we do the first of Monday of every month. And it's a musical chairs. And so just to remind everybody what musical chairs is all about, we've got Eric Landia here and myself, Lisa Berry. And Lisa and Eric bring you a show that puts a spotlight on songs of influence, words of wit, inspiration, lines of love, and verses of humor and joy. So we ask you all to join to explore emotion and climb the scale of good vibration while jumping from one song to another and guest to guest as we play musical chairs. So we have a, a guest today, and Eric, let's say he- hello to Eric here. Hi, I'm not the guest. I'm the co-host, actually. But uh, we do have a guest. Our first interview today is going to be with the singer, songwriter, guitarist extraordinaire, Mr. Tobin Spring. So we'd like to welcome Tobin. Hey, Eric and Lisa. Hey. Uh, <laughs> well, today we we are so excited to have you because you've written well, you've written a bunch of songs, and you're such a fabulous player. And I actually even I, this is a fellow you got to play up north at. Uh, yeah, it's a lot I, I, I've played up many times at the Atwell Concert Series with Tobin. Yes, yeah. and also other friends. We had uh, Jim on, on the show before, my show. Oh, yes, the Lodge. Yeah. Came down and hung out with us, too, there, for sure. So, so we chose a good guest. We've got, it's, a, it's a friend as well. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me. Okay. So, Eric, I was going to say, we've got a little bit of a theme going on here. The theme, I want to call it fun, because it's just, this is a blues, it's rock, it's fun and jamming and but with um eric what would you say we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about the song that tobin's you know gonna let us play here but there's a theme to it it's just it's fun it's friends it's a good time yeah it's, it's called up the road and we'll ask tobin more about this as well called up the road and the way i view it it is uh you know there's a lot of fun up the road but there's also a lot of help from a lot of people up the road that uh, a lot of times we're in the country that kind of thing helps a lot if somebody's down and needs a hand that kind of thing. Now, do you think is that kind of how you wrote it, Tobin? No, that yeah, you've got it bang on there, Eric. That's right. It's it's sort of it started out as a song about uh, good times with friends and family, but then it kind of morphed into this thing that even you know if you're if you're someone who who maybe is, is down on your luck or in need of some help, then you know there's these places that you can go to and meet these people that can help you with whatever is going on in your life, and and uh, you know it's good to look forward to to these types of places and try and search them out and 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 find these kinds of people whether it's it's uh, family or friends and 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 these types of get-togethers where uh, where it is all about fun and then having a good time but also uh, helping each other out so that that's kind of what it morphed into and feels like it's always been a really positive song for for me to sing right it's uh, i'm from the country too and a lot of those get-togethers can actually morph into somebody's not there because of a certain problem you know a barn burned out i don't know many things and yeah. uh we're here to have to get something going folks and you sit around and you and you figure out what people can do and go down the road and help yeah uh, you know kind of Tobin, uh, I, it made me think of what you were just talking about there is um follow the yellow brick road and yeah <laughs> You know, you meet the line and you meet the scarecrow and, you know, all these different people offer different, um, different, assistance. like, yes, yeah, just a roadside assistance here. It goes. There you go. <laughs> Up the roadside assistance. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to put you on the spot here before, because I, I want to, we actually should tell a little bit about. On the spotter, by the way. I mean, on the spotter. Um, <laughs> We we actually will introduce you properly, but I just want to throw this out right now because I'm thinking about it. When you did write that and you're thinking about that and the good times, um, but what can come out of a good times? Were you going through something specific in life or helping out a friend or was it just truly all of life together? Yeah, you know, I can't recall what I was going through. I know that there were some changes that were happening with me about five or six years ago where, you know, I've been a musician. Um, I'm 38 now. I've been a musician for, you know, my, my whole life as far as I can remember. And there were some times where, you know, I was sort of struggling with, okay, what am I going to do with my life? Is, is, is this what it's going to be? And uh, is, is, this, uh, is this the right path for me? And uh, so, and eventually, just through uh, me doing some some soul searching and 
and and uh, and you know, and talking to some people that I was close with, I, I ended up becoming uh, very focused and comfortable with w- what it is I'm doing, and and sort of um, you know, resolved within myself about it, and 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 happy moving forward, and and certainly that probably had an influence in in the uh, the songwriting that I was doing at that point. That um, that particular song, you know, I'm from I'm from the country, so we have a lot of um, get-togethers and. Uh, and, 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 and concerts as well as, um, you know, we, we do a thing up there, which I'm sure we'll talk more about here, uh, called the Etwell Concert Series, which is something that my family puts on. And we have special guests and other musicians who come in, and there's a, there's a great audience. And uh, so it, it's, it's all based off those types of, um, you know, get-togethers and musical uh, connections and stuff like that. And if you don't mind me saying, I know you went through a hard time there a few years. Your house burnt. Oh, yeah, I completely and, forgot about that. Yeah, I mean, you went through a pretty hard time, and I'm sure there are friends on different levels who stepped up to help you. Oh, absolutely. And and uh, you know what? There's some, some great songs waiting to be written there. I've just got to uh, get myself to the to the place where I can do that. But, yeah, about two years ago, um, you know, I, I came home after a gig with my fiancé, and, uh, and, and the, uh, you know, my house was, um, you know, the, you couldn't, up from the outside, there was, no real visible, nothing really visible happening. But once um, she opened the door and called me to the door saying that the smoke alarm was going off and, and the lights weren't working. And so, and there was smoke billowing out the front door and, and, and through us, m- me running up to the door and the door being wide open, uh, that, that caused the, whatever was smoldering, the fire that was in there smoldering, it caused it to flare up. And within, within minutes, the, the, the whole fire was engulfed in flames. So, you know, I lost wow. pretty pretty much the whole house. The house had to be torn down after that, and you know, we lost our dog, which was which really no. sad. Yeah, oh. and, you know, uh, that that's you know that was the most terrible thing. But the, but the thing at the at the time was that I was most thankful for there was that there there were no people there, and that n- no people were injured. That was the uh, you know through me losing our dog, and and of course all the all the stuff that 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 we lost. In there, there with some instruments too, right? Yeah, lots of instruments and everything like that. But then we just started the process of, of rebuilding it. And, you know, that's what insurance is there for. And the community really, you know, the, the community here in, in uh, Muskoka and Huntsville, that where I live, they, you know, and all, all the friends that I have, the, everybody really showed a, a, a tremendous amount of support in, uh, wow. in reaching out and, and, uh, and being there for me and, and us and, uh, yeah, that really helped with putting things back together, and, and now we're we're back here living uh, a couple of years later, and we've got this this cute little puppy here, and uh, oh, it's, it's, the, the it's beautiful. I, I, and I, you I, were the you were the person up the road. You were the person up the road, right? That's right. That's right. right. That's kind of interesting. You know? Well, speaking of you were the person up the road, let's let's share with everybody who Tobin Spring is. <laughs> I forgot. Sure. Okay, we're having such a great time. We jumped in. I'm going to share with everybody. I'm going to read uh, part of your bio here. But before I do that, I do have um, a quote that some. Uh, so uh, Gary Kendall, the Downchild Blues Band, has said something really nice about you, and I want to share that. He said Tobin Spring is a fresh new blues voice from Northern Ontario, a talented and forward-moving artist, uh, guitarist vocalist, songwriter, and band leader. And I think that's a really neat thing, first of all, that you say about band leader. That's, um, it just speaks to community, once again, in the music language. So um, I'll jump into who Tobin is and where he's born so I can share that, right? That's, great. Is that that's just a great quote. That must make you feel pretty good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gary's a great guy, and, and I really re- respect him. And, and, and the, you know, you mentioned that he said, you know, he mentioned the band leader, and that's that's probably the most important part of that that quote to me because I I, I feel like I've done sort of a – you know, I strive to do a lot of work in that area, and, and for him to have, have noticed that and mentioned that in, in the quote, uh, that, that really means a lot to me, and especially coming from him, because especially with um, some of my, my blues music ventures, Gary's been, um, you know, sort of an inspiration and someone for me to look up to and just sort of has helped me out with uh, with any questions I've had and, and, and things like that. So, uh, so yeah. I always really like that quote. I don't know about the fresh. I don't. I think you put fresh in there. That's like a couple of years old now. <laughs> oh well, you know what's really neat is that that the vibration of that word, uh, just the letters jumped out at me. So it's great that you had such a, a good feeling about it too. Well, let me yeah. share, everybody, all the listeners here because I want to squeeze this in before commercial, which we have plenty of time. But Tobin was born in Huntsville, Ontario, in 1980. He picked up the guitar at age 12 and began studying with Ryan Corrigan. Oh, and you've got here the Toxley Workman in early. Yeah, that's- yeah. That's his name. That's his, uh, like, Hoxley Workman is the stage name. So he, oh. he's from the same small town. 
Oh, perfect, perfect. Okay. <laughs> and in, you, for you, um, in early yeah. high school, he formed the band Laganza, along with Derek Cochran and Benji Jordan. Laganza yeah. has produced four studio albums, including their latest efforts entitled Both Sides. And in 2000, Toad spent a year studying classical guitar at Can- Oh my gosh, Cambrian College. <laughs> I have a bit of a cold. My eyes are watering. College in Sudbury. Oh, you went all the way up there, eh? Oh, I did, um, yes. <laughs> Sudbury Saturday night. Oh, gosh. There you go. Yeah. He then went on to spend three years at Humber College before graduating with a major in jazz guitar performance. And that's why I really want to stress that you guys, everybody listening, we've got it's, it's blues and jazz. It's all that good stuff. And, you know, when you're one with the guitar and playing this kind of music and writing these songs, there's just a, a I don't know, a, lo- a life force that kind of goes through, and I'm sort of totally adding right in your bio here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but um, I do want to mention that while he was at Humber, he was the lead guitarist for Dave Stilwell's Blue Jacket. These are fun names. And was part of Hillary, Hillary Duran's Latin. Ooh, Latin. Hilario Duran. Hilario, not Hillary. <laughs> uh, great piano. Oh, my God. Yeah, amazing yeah. Cuban piano. Latin jazz ensemble. Oh, my gosh. I want to hear that. <laughs> so Tobin is open for a variety of artists, including Big Sugar, Blue Rodeo, Tim Mitchell, and April Wine. He's had four of the songs put into heavy rotation on Moose FM station across Ontario. You've got It's Only Life, September, Higher Height, and Both Sides of the Coin. He also wrote and produced a theme song for the 2010 Ontario Winter Games entitled Be Here. Oh, I love that. That was, oh. I, I never knew that. Didn't you? Yeah, that one just fell into my lap. It was it was a really exciting thing to to be a part of. Actually, that would be a great song to play on your show. I should have thought yeah. of that, but uh, maybe we can do that at some point in the future. Yeah, sure we could. Oh my yeah. gosh! Actually, is it on is it on YouTube or something? Do you have it up somewhere? Uh, I I don't think I've got easy access to it. It's on a, it's on a CD that was produced just entirely for the for the Winter Games. So I'd have to I'd have to track it down, but oh. I I should be able to do that. Do you know what? Oh, Eric possible? has a studio here. I wonder, just I'm just making this up now, if you sent it somehow to Eric that he could put it in, in a format that then we could share it. I'm fun. sure. I'm sure we could do that, yes. Okay. And then I will close off. I'll get through. I love taking the time to people's uh, bios because it's so exciting. But in 2005, yeah, okay. you, Tobin, created the highly successful Northern Blues Review. There has since been 11 different incarnations of the show, and each time it has featured some of Ontario's finest blues musicians. And Tobin currently resides in Huntsville, which he's talked about, where he runs a music school and performs regularly as the lead singer-guitarist for Laganza. And recently, Laganza's song entitled Six Strings and a Radio was featured on Amanda Putt's CBC program and has been uh, played on multiple times on CBC. That's exciting, too. You're all over the place. Yeah, yeah it's, amazing. it's a lot of fun, these, these little... Um... These perks or these these um, these, these things that happen, uh, they just sort of fall into my lap, you know what I mean? And then and then it's, I just become yeah. a sort of a, a blessing or a windfall, and uh, and and uh, just it's just you know from plugging away at things that occasionally you get a little break like that, which is really nice. Yeah, opportunities they come. You never know when the golden horse is riding up. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Get on or get under it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So. We've got a little um, still got like four minutes before commercial. I want to say because you've mentioned now a few times, which is great, like things have been falling in your lap and stuff. Now, for, to me, I that means to me that you're living a very aligned, like you're in alignment of your joy and your happiness, and you're in alignment of what feels good, and in alignment of just being just living that that life that is feels satisfying, feels good. And so I want to say it's not just falling in your lap. It's actually because you know you you're keeping on that um path of being true to yourself. And when you were doing that soul searching at the time going, is this what I really want to do? Um was were you considering not being a musician at that at a time? Uh no, I don't think that that was ever something that uh was was really in the cards. Um but there was just you know, I I just it was just it was the sort of thing like is this, um, you know, I, I wonder, it was more of like a, uh, is this the right path for me? Where is, where is it going to lead me to, um, you know, is, uh, you know, there's a certain point in my, in my early thirties where, you know, I sort of looked at the rest of my life and wondered, okay, you know, uh, how is this all going to play out? It seemed very daunting at that time, but, but, um, you know, I, I, I ended up just looking at it as the sort of thing where it was like, uh, this is what I love to do. This is my passion. I can't imagine doing anything else. So uh, I'm, I'm just going to sort of throw caution to the wind and and, uh, and run with it. And once I sort of just said that to myself, it, it, uh, it I haven't looked back. So 
So I think I think that was part of it was kind of letting go and just being letting uh, being at one with things. Being at and it's like that. And it's like that. I mean, I've been through the same thing. I'm sure Lisa has yeah. too. It doesn't, no matter if you're any kind of artist, be a writer, like either books or whatever. At some point, you have to decide which way is this road going? Is it twisting around? Are we taking a turn? And everything changed. I've been through it for the last year too. <laughs> it's actually taken quite a while. Yeah. You have to decide what you're going to do with the rest because. Obviously, you get older, and then your audience has changed, and then your life yeah. changes. Life shows yeah. up, all that kind of thing. So you keep exactly. going with this, keep rolling. Yeah, yeah, because there's, you know, it's not. It's, in a lot of cases, it's not one of those careers that uh, there's there's sort of a clear cut uh, uh, path or, or hierarchy. But you know, there's it's not like uh, joining a company or something like that. It's, it's up to you to to sort of make the most of it, and and it's it's an art, and uh, and and that doesn't always go hand in hand. with with it being a business. So, uh, and then you, you know. make your living with it as well as like living, like I make a living as well as you do, but also yeah. you have a side that's your artist is where do they, do they collide? Right. Are they working together? You exactly. know, because obviously we got to all live somewhere. Yeah. We got to eat, you that's know, right. we, we yeah. have to have a life. No more starving musicians. But on the other side you have, yeah. It's, but on the other side, you want to sell your book. You want to sell a song. You want to want people, and you want to play, play your passion and not be beat up too much about it, right? Mm-hmm. So that kind of thing. That's right. That's right. Well, we've got, Go we've got 30 seconds for a commercial, but I just want to let everybody know to make sure they stay tuned because when we get back from the commercials, whoo, we've got this song to play that's just so much fun. And I, I love that it is a Monday because it will really get anybody up off, off dancing around. Like it's just a, it's, a, it's like blaring. It's a fun song. <laughs> Oh, so we'll, off we go. We'll be right back to hear that song. The best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Humanity Healing International is a small nonprofit with a big dream. Since 2007, HHI has been working tirelessly to bring help to communities with little or no hope. Our projects are not broad mandates, nor are they overnight solutions, but they bring the reassurance that no one is alone and that someone cares. To learn more, please visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. Enjoy passive income benefits while creating a cottage experience for others. From a relaxing getaway to connecting with nature, sitting around flickering campfire light, dipping in cool, refreshing waters, strengthening your body with biking, hiking, boating, and swimming. And you have the cottage that could be a part of all of those memories while earning you money. Financial abundance as a thank you for renting your cottage. Become a cottage rental owner today, safely and supported. RentCottage.com. Imagine being fired because of who you love. Imagine being denied medical treatment because of who you marry. Imagine being evicted because of who you are. Millions of Americans don't have to imagine this. They have to live it. Because in 31 states, it's legal to discriminate against LGBT people. Get the facts at beyondido.org. Brought to you by the Gill Foundation and the Ad Council. everybody light on living's very own musical chairs we got eric lambier my wonderful co-host here yes welcome back hello everybody <laughs> and myself lisa berry and we have a special guest tobin spring and uh 
we're we're gonna. I just want to preface this. You share about a little bit about the song, Eric, and then ask Tobin, and then we'll play it so everybody can hear. Uh, I'm sharing about the song. We'll just to say what it's called. Oh, the song is called "Up the Road." It's by blues guitarist, singer, songwriter, Mr. Tobin Spring, and. Uh, <laughs> what else to say? It's his song. So, so Tobin, you're there, right? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, everybody. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I can tell you about the song as much as I know about it anyway. Sure. So, should we hear it first or what do you want to do? Let's hear it first. All right, let's, let's play it. it. So, there's Up the Road by Tobin Spring. Who's playing the harmonics on that? 
So that's uh, Roly Platt, and he's uh, a celebrated Canadian harmonic uh, harmonica player. And uh, I, I met Roly like I meet you know every musician that I come across in my life through a gig. And uh, I met Roly on a gig probably about uh, 15 years ago. And, uh, you know, we, we became friends and then, uh, you know, we played a number of gigs throughout the years since then. And, uh, and I was fortunate enough to have him, uh, play on, play on this album that I put out that has, uh, up the road as the, as the first track on it. So, uh, uh and really, like harmonica. oh yeah, he's, he's outstanding. And he's played with a lot of, a lot of, uh, excellent musicians himself over the years. And, uh, he, he's still doing his thing. He's, he's, uh, if you look up, uh, if, if you, if you look up Rolly Platt, you'll, you'll see, uh, he's, uh, he, he does all kinds of different things with, with different players, and he's got his own, own music that he writes too. So he, he's, a, he's just a, a treasure of a harmonica player. Oh, a treasure! I love that. Fantastic. <laughs> Super yeah. I was going to ask about if you want to talk about any other things, but I want to highlight that you said that you said a treasure. You have mm. such um, a, a sense of gratitude and this appreciation for any time you speak so far, because I've never got this. You know, I don't know you, <laughs> so now I'm getting to know you. I just want to highlight that. I think that's a, a wonderful virtue to have is that you seem very grateful and filled with appreciation it's nice well thank you i appreciate it it's, it's fun getting to know you over the uh the air here too as well lisa and uh you know i mean that's just the way i look at music and uh, i'm always so appreciative of uh when i when i get to meet other musicians and i find that they're they're often some of the greatest people that that i meet in my life as well they, they you know i've learned that from from them, you know, this, this uh, appreciation for, for music, but as well as uh, life and, and each other is to each other as well. So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of, um, it's, it's easy to catch, you know, that feeling. So, yeah. We, we, we are a weird bunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they usually get along, usually. Um, what I wanted to talk, uh, once again, just talk about one more, more of the musicians on there. Now, Derek was, Derek was playing drums. Yeah, my uh, Derek Cocker, my longtime uh, friend and uh, and musician. We've been playing in, uh, music together since high school, and uh, he, he he did all the drums uh, and helped me produce that album as well. Oh, cool! And now then, he um, he was also on when I played with you at the R and B, your Muskoka Blues Connection. Right, which is what we you guys mentioned the um, uh, the Northern Blues Review, uh, which which I uh, you know I started doing that probably about uh, that was about fifteen years ago, and that. Uh, that had a good uh, 12 year run and then it uh, it morphed into it, it sort of ended and then I took the idea of that and started this this thing called uh, the Muskoka Blues Connection which is um, sort of like an all star band with, with it's about a 10 piece band and, and we do sort of uh, we do blues music as well as soul and R and B uh, and we have a lot of fun and and fortunately we've uh, been able to get Eric to play uh, piano on a, a couple of the gigs that we've had and uh, yeah that was Eric, that was yeah. a blast. Yeah, that's always fun. I mean, Eric and I always have fun together, but when we get to play with a big band like that, it's just next level. So, Exactly. Now you have, there's drums, bass, two guitars, if I remember correctly. Uh, you're, this is for the, the Muskoka Blues Connection Band? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, you, usually there's just one, but sometimes two, right? The gigs you played on, there's been two, because my friend uh, Dave Curry, who, who plays with... Uh, as we mentioned before, Gary Kendall in uh, in St. Catharines, uh, Dave Curry uh, plays part of the um, was it the Mighty Duck Blues Band. So and he's been uh, he was actually one of my uh, early mentors with the guitar, and he's a close family friend. So Dave Curry he plays he plays sometimes on some of the Muskoka Blues Connection gigs as well. So that's that's he would be the second guitarist. And then we have Keys, and then you had uh, mm-hmm. what's his name uh, singer. We've- Oh yeah, there's a Mr. Sarah Charlebois is one of the lead vocalists in that band, as well as uh, Tamika Herod, and she she's the other she's the other lead uh, vocalist on that. So we've got sort of a powerhouse uh, lead vocal section, and uh, and I do a bit of singing, and, and Eric sings some some backups as well. And on most gigs, Eric and I have to have to sing all the lead, but it's it's kind of neat with a, a band like this because we can sort of sit back and just focus on playing, and then we've got these great singers that that do their part for the, for the lead vocals on, on this uh, part of this, on this band. Yeah. And uh, we've got a horn section. So usually there's, there's three players, uh, Louis Toos, uh, John Minnis and Joe Alfano are usually the, uh, the uh, members of the horn section. And, uh, and then two, what two trumpets. Was it, was it two trumpets? Yeah, yeah it's usually two trumpets. That's right. Two and, trumpets uh, and a sax. Yeah. Two trumpets and a sax. Right. And then just to touch on it, seeing where are here, you're, that was at the Etwell, a concert series 
That's and that's right. put on by your family. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, so so we get to do that gig with, that's one of the gigs that we get to do with the Muskoka Blues Connection Band. But the Atwell Concert Series is something that uh, my mom and dad and I started uh, about seven or eight years ago now up, up here in Huntsville. And uh, and it just sort of started out with, I mean, you know, I'm a musician, my dad's a musician, and a lot of our friends are. So we started having some house concerts, some outdoor house concerts. Mm-hmm. And now, over the years, that's turned into this thing that runs weekly throughout the uh, the summer. Usually we skip June, May and June, because of the because of the bugs. <laughs> yeah, they can be pretty yeah. bad up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, now we need to find you an indoor place where you could have it, because people need to hear this through the summer. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's only once the summer. There are several winter concerts that happen at uh, the Legion in Huntsville, but not with the same consistency that we do the weekly shows in the summer. Right. Oh, so, yeah. And then that this we just had the uh, the last one for this season um, uh, yesterday, and oh. it was um, Juno Award winning uh, Angel Forest, this dynamic singer. She's from uh, Montreal, and uh, and she she usually comes with uh, her husband and then and another uh, lead guitar player. They come as a trio, and uh, but they they're actually their their lead guitar player had a family emergency. He had, he had to attend, so they showed up just as the duo yesterday, and they were you know they. They they were sort of a little bit stressed out about the fact they didn't have their uh, mm-hmm. you know the other member of their band and my dad got talking with them and uh, and and then suddenly I was I was thrown into the mix as the lead guitar player for yesterday <laughs> and I'd never played with them before and and they'd never played with me and and uh, we hit it off and uh, people some of the some of the people just loved it this, people were walking up saying it was uh, one of their favorite shows there ever because they knew about the spontaneity of it and 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 there was just an energy that we had on stage and uh it was a great time for me and and uh they enjoyed it and they just they're just so incredible angel and her husband uh denny they just put on they're such unbelievable entertainers i can see why they're so successful and uh and it was just a pleasure for me to be a part of so i always i I want to highlight that um them saying you know what they had an emergency one of the the guitar players had that emergency so couldn't they were like oh my gosh we're nervous to go but just like your last line of your song says we'll never know if we never do go (laughs) yeah yeah you gotta take a risk and go for it which is which is how i met eric actually oh that's how i met eric we were on a, a gig up in um in Muskoka called uh, Jake Stock, which was, uh, Eric can tell you more about the origins of it, but I, I got brought on board and Eric had been doing it for years. And there, you know, some of the organizers thrust, they, 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 they sort of thrust me on Eric saying, we've got this guitar player here and we'd like him to sit in. And as a musician, Aww. that's always a really daunting thing to have happen. <laughs> yeah, it, could be, it could be someone who can't play a note. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and Eric... But, but- you know, I, I remember I said to Eric, I, I, I of course, I, I felt, you know, I, I knew he must be nervous. And I said to him, I said, look, I, I know these people want to make this happen. You know, the organizers, they're, they're asking if I can sit in with you and you've already got your band. I said, and don't feel like you have to, you know, if you, if you, if, you know, if you'd like me to sit in for a song and that's it. Then, then no problem. I wanted to make him feel at ease, like Aww. he wasn't uh, yeah. being held hostage to having me play yeah. with him. But he, you know, we we spoke a little bit, and without hearing me play, he let me sit in, and then we uh, we hit it off. I think pretty much right in the first song, and uh, we we you know not only did we uh, have a great, you know, we've had a great musical journey since then, but we've also been uh, been great friends. So, uh, so absolutely, yeah, absolutely, yeah. It was uh like from the first note because you're right you're always nervous with musicians you never know you know your best friend can <laughs> suggest somebody and but th- you know what it was a very pleasant surprise and we haven't been great we have been great friends since so that's really cool yeah. you know yeah. so with the Atwell uh concert series that will continue yeah. to, can people do they just they just show up do they have to do, get tickets or if you want if, if there's a musician um or singer song listening right now and they want to be a part of it do they have to audition for <laughs> Okay, so how it works is um, if you go to the there's the, the website which is atwellconcertseries.ca, and and you can you can send us an email there and you can see the lineup. It's it runs weekly throughout the uh, the summer and and uh, it's um, it's primarily blues and roots music and uh, the majority of it is um, you know songwriters that write songs and and sing and play in that vein and some of them come on their own like and, and just do a solo or a duo and some of them come as a full piece band, you know, either we've had, uh, you know, anywhere from four piece to seven or eight piece bands come and play there. 
And uh, and so if they've got some, uh, if, you know, if they're a songwriter or they're, you know, a blues musician of some sort, then, uh, then you know, by all means, drop us a line. You know, there's a, there's an email that you can uh, that you can use on the website to get in touch with us, and uh, and and we'll, we'll do our best to get get to any uh, you know songwriters out there as a as a headlining act. Or this year we started doing a lot of opening acts, which have worked really well. So if someone sort of wants to get their foot in the door, then uh, then they can then they can they can come as an opening act as well, which has worked really well and it's a lot of fun. And and, and all the musicians that come there and play, uh, you know, they, they love it because it's a Sunday afternoon gig and and they're out there in the countryside and it's a great audience with uh, with a lot of great people and and uh, and it's just it's a a real gem. It's it's out in the country. It's just like the song up the road there where uh, yeah. there's, there's all these great people and it's a great place to play. It's, it's very unique. The musicians that play there really really love it and love coming back to play there. And I, I just want to point out that it is Atwell E as opposed to right. Atwell. Right. Sometimes on Google it, it, it makes me go to Atwell. Oh, right. Yeah. That's right. It's E T W E L L Atwell Concert Series dot C A. And um, oh yeah, and, and so people don't need to buy tickets for it. No, they just it's a suggested donation at the gate. So you just drive in there, and then usually it's my dad at the end of the driveway, and it's a suggested donation of twenty dollars that goes towards uh, paying for the bands. And, uh, and and that's it. So the musicians who, who travel from sometimes great distances can can get paid for their efforts, and then everybody yeah. comes in and has a good time. Because so yeah, I want to just point, I just want to point out one thing. Remember last year when I was there, remember yeah. David Vest was needed a band, and we just sat in right. with him. So that was right, fun. that was another great musical experience. That was a blast. And uh, Tobin, I'm going to ask you if you don't mind if we can just keep you on for the commercial break here and just bring you back so we can we can. I don't want to just let you go now, so can you hang on and wait for it to uh, oh, after yeah. the commercial? Okay, no good, okay. Well, everybody, uh, we're so happy to have you with us and listening to Tobin Spring. Join us right after the commercial break. The best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free, ascendinghearts.com. Grab a cup of tea or a glass of wine and tune in for Inspired Conversations with publisher Linda Joy on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern. Linda creates sacred space for leading female luminaries, empowering authors, heart-centered female entrepreneurs, coaches, and healers. A soulful venue where guests openly share the fears and obstacles they've overcome, wisdom and lessons learned, and the personal journey that led them to the transformational work they do in the world. Inspired conversations to empower you on your path to authentic, soulful living. Hi, this is recording artist and composer Yuval Ron inviting you to a voyage through the chakras, a new double album of guided meditations to transform your life, a sublime musical medicine for nourishing inner peace and reaching to your higher virtues. Get it now at metamindfulnessmusic.com, M-E-T-T-A, mindfulnessmusic.com. So I'm a cat. And I just moved in with this new human, and she's got this little toy she's always playing with, all day long. Tap, 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 bloop, bloop. She can't put it down. There it is. Oh, and get this. She even talks to it. Last week, she asked it for Chinese, and guess what? Egg roll showed up, like magic. Humans have cool toys. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the shelterpetproject.org.
thanks everybody for joining us. We're here at Light on Living's musical chairs. I just love the show. <laughs> Glad you're here. And I just want to say everybody's just sitting in their favorite chair when they listen to the show. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> We're on the floor right now. So <laughs> that's my favorite chair. It's, it's a huge chair, but you know what? <laughs> Whatever chair works for you, do it. <laughs> a funny uh, story, Tobin, just to share with you about this. So um, Eric's actually my studio guy right now, and I'm doing an audio book. And so he was like, I think you'll be better if you, you know, sit down. So I was going to stand. And then I, I think you'd do better this. And I couldn't get comfortable. Well, I always sit on the floor. So Eric was just smart enough to go, why don't you just sit on the floor? Well, and then. are we doing this? Because Lisa's so energetic when she stands up, I said, maybe you should sit down and read. And then by the time we're almost done, when she's actually reading the book now, she's on the floor. So. And, so, and so he set me up with this little, what is it called, the, the mic is the special. What, it was An audio so technical, 40, 50. Oh, yeah. Actually, just for those who don't. But he puts me in the drum booth. It's nice and carpeted, squishy in there, and I sit down again. So it's all about being comfortable and being. All, and you know, it, it sounds like sounds like all the places that you, you, the place that you're creating for all these musicians to join is so comfortable. It, it just attracts all these people to come. And Eric, you wanted to ask about. I just want to ask a couple questions. If you don't mind staying on with us, Toby, you know this is such a good interview. Maybe we'll just continue for the last segment. Is that cool? Sounds great. All right, but um, the one question was just just to finish off the Etwell is. Um, what kind of artists have you had there? Right. Yeah. Good question. So um, it, it's like I mentioned before, it, it's primarily sort of blues and, and roots artists in, and in Canada, we've got uh, oh, just a, you know, a, a wide variety of them. Some of them aren't necessarily household names, but uh, once you tap into that genre that you see that we've got these, uh, these, these incredible artists, some of them, uh, I'll just mention some of the recent ones we've had, um, we had uh, Steve Strongman, and and you know he's he's a uh, a multiple Juno Award winner for for his uh, efforts in blues music, and he's just an outstanding singer, songwriter, guitarist, and he just came and played on played on his own this year. We've been looking forward to having him for a few years, but as well um, we have. Uh, you know, this year we also had uh, a band called the Hogtown All Stars, and and those guys are are uh, they're all members of the you know the Canadian band, the legendary band, uh, the Downchild Blues Band. So, oh yeah. So they played there this summer. Uh, some other names, notable names, would be um, we just had uh, Samantha Martin and Delta Sugar. This uh, she's she's a powerhouse singer, and they're an upcoming uh, uh, blues act in in Canada, based out of Toronto. Um, we have. Um, who else has been there? Jack, Jack's been there, right? Jack the Kaiser. Oh yeah, there? Jack the Kaiser, one of the one of my favorites. Yeah, the Kaiser's been there several times. He, he's amazing, as well as Paul Reddick. Uh, um, harmonica. Uh, yeah, Carlos Del Hunco, another great harmonica player Fabulous. and uh, singer songwriter, as well as uh, some great musicians like yourself, Eric Lambier. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. As, has have you ever had um, uh, Jimmy Boskills up there? Yeah, Jimmy's been there several times. Um, the times he's been there, uh, I think a couple times I've seen them. It was when he was doing a duo with uh, Carlos Del Honco, who's, yeah. who's like the Jimi Hendrix of the harmonica. And uh, and Jimmy and him had teamed up. And Jimmy's just, oof, he's, uh, he's a young guy. And he's been, since I think about the age of 14, he's been... Um, you know, he, he's been out performing and, and, and been sort of like a, a, a name, a, a big name in terms of blues guitar playing and singing and songwriting. And, and so he's been at it for a while now. And, and uh, he's just outstanding to, to, to behold. He, he's right. really sort of like a, he was a prodigy, I think. And uh, and now he's now he's just he's, he's now he's touring with the Sheepdogs. He's a member of the Sheepdogs, the, the Canadian uh, sort yeah. of rock band, the Sheepdogs. Yeah, so, great band. Just, I yeah, love great them. band. Yeah. And, and Jimmy, if you ever get a chance to see the Sheepdogs, Jimmy's out there uh, singing and playing lead guitar. And, uh, yeah, yeah he, he's been uh, he's a great guy, too. And another guy that's been at yours at the Etwell has been Jerome Godbu, right? Harmonica player. Yeah. 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 Just another great guy, a great musician. Jerome always. What a what a great great entertainer. So, uh, and he yeah, played we, on my we, album, too. There you go. Yeah. And, uh, oh, Lance Anderson, another great piano player, was another fellow who, who happened to play on, on my album there. With uh, He plays on uh, Up the Road. And, yeah, and Lance is in there and plays. He's a great, great <laughs> piano player. Yeah. So I want. I was just wondering. So if you you guys do this every you said about eight years now, um, and yeah. do you already know your lineup for this coming summer, 2019. Um, I would say that it's probably half booked, but there's there's definitely still some openings. 
And, uh, and, and so, you know, we know who's going to be, there's, there's some people that sort of come every year and sometimes we have such a great show. Like I mentioned with, um, with, with the show we had with Angel yesterday, I can't imagine that we will, she won't be coming back next year because uh, it'll be back by popular demand with that one. So, so I would say it's probably half, half the lineup is half booked, I would say, for next year. Well, this is oh, fun. Cool. Yeah. See, bring a lawn chair, lawn chair and bring your instrument and just you can hang out and listen or do whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You can bring a lawn chair or you can, there's, there's seats that are provided. It just depends how close you want to get to the action. And uh, that's right. It's just a good time. You can bring. Oh, is it dog friendly? Can they bring their animals? They can, they can bring animals. We just, Yay, okay. they be leashed, but absolutely it's, it's dog friendly and, you know, dancing is encouraged as well. So it's, uh, it's, it's a and good the time. Best, and the best pizza ever. Woo! Right. That's I, I right. Just, I just want to say, because they have a wood fired right behind where I sit, which I usually feel the heat from it, <laughs> yeah. is, the, is the pizza, and they have pizza there that's just awesome from wood fired on it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's a big hit. Yeah. Hey, do people ever make marshmallows? Do marshmallows in the pizza oven? <laughs> I, you know what? I don't think so. We cooked <laughs> other things in pizza in there, but marshmallows, <laughs> they, they, they might yeah. help. It, it's pretty hot in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well... <laughs> You have a question? Well, I, oh, do you have a question? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, because I was going to touch more on now that you do teach students. Yes. Yeah, that's so right. how many students do you have? I've got about 50 students that come per week, and uh, wow. primarily guitar, but I but I also teach um, ukulele, uh, mandolin, banjo, uh, drums, bass. Um, so so those, are, those are some of the things that I teach as well. And, uh, yeah, I love teaching. It's been uh, something that I've done for – uh, the last 15 years or so, and uh, the uh, it gives me. I have to say, those instruments are just like everything. You can't even not smile when you hear the word banjo or ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> you have fun like saying them. <laughs> yeah, they're all. I mean, you know, they're all sort of uh, cousins of the guitar. So I, uh, oh. it, they're they're not that. You know, it's not like uh, when I pick those instruments up, it's not like me going and grabbing a piccolo or or some sort of a, a woodwind yeah. instrument that I'm not familiar with at all. So I can sort of find my way around and teach teach beginners how to play some of those uh, some of those stringed instruments. So I, I enjoy it a lot. I, I get uh, you know I, I get a lot of um, I get a lot of pleasure out of out of teaching people and, and seeing where they go with it and when they make progress and and have fun with it. Then that uh, then then I get a lot of enjoyment out of that myself. Where do they go to get? Yeah, I was going to say the same that where. Now, primary, probably a lot of that is word of mouth with you because you're from the community, obviously, but it is, how do they get a hold of you for that, or is it just word of mouth that you built it? If uh, it has, it just has, has been built up through word of mouth and, and through the community. Uh, most of the lessons are taught at uh, my home here in Huntsville, but uh, sometimes I do make house calls as well if that uh, works out better, and um you know, people can get a hold of me through, uh, if they go to my website, uh, tobinspring.com, then it's got my email on there, or they can, I'm sure they can, they can track me down on Facebook as well if they'd like. There's, there's not a lot of other, uh, Tobin Springs around. So, uh, <laughs> All right. if, if they give me a search, then they'll be able to get in touch with me. <laughs> okay. And if there was, hey, I'm going to put you on the spot for one second. Sure. So sure. this sort of a, if, if there was something that you could say to up and coming, let's say we have some young students listening who want to take up the guitar or an instrument or anything, what would be uh, just a little piece of advice that you throw out there? Yeah, sure. Okay. Wow. Um, well, I would say I like whenever I get asked that question, I like to think back. What would I what would I have said to myself if I could mm. go back and and see my uh, myself when I was starting? And I, I think I would say that. Um, you know, believe it or not, I know everybody just hammers home on this all the time, but it, it's practice. Practicing is what takes you. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> right, yeah. You can find, you know, when you're younger like that, you've got sometimes some, some time on your hand. And if you can find that time to, to, to practice and, and put in a bit of practice each day, then that's really what, what makes the progress. And if you find yourself sort of, as a lot of people do, becoming passionate about music and an instrument, then then just, you know, if you can find a way, and sometimes a good teacher will help you do this, uh, you know, develop some sort of a practice schedule. You know, find, yeah. find a way that you can – you can work on, you know, the things that you like to work on, but also put some time into um, some of the, the technical end of things. And, and uh, if you can develop that at a young age, then, then boy, that's, uh, 
that, that's that's really what it's all about, as I'm sure you know. Yeah, and I, I think and I think you'd agree with that is with the teacher. I like what you said about teacher because when I took jazz, you know, you're kind of going into a, an area that I don't really know, but a teacher like yourself can suggest players for them to listen to and become yeah. men- mentors, right? Yeah, and, and, and like just to draw on what you're saying, listening. You just mentioned listening, and and so often nowadays. With you know, I've got these young students who are who are coming in. They're interested in playing an instrument, and of course, I get it. Not everybody, especially at a young age, is even listening to music yet. But if you can impress upon them the importance of that, you know, with especially with the types of music that you know that, that we're into, you know, whether it be blues or or, or rock music or, or or roots music or, or, or pop or jazz, listening is, is such an important part of that, and. Uh, and so the, the sooner that they they can get a handle on that and, and, and maybe even start to listen to some of the music they, they could possibly be working on, that just uh, that, that that's such a key component of it. So let's, listening is huge. Yeah. And I, also, I love that you both mentioned about the word mentor, Eric, here, because when at any age, it doesn't matter how old you are, little to old, it doesn't matter. When you have somebody that you go, wow, I, either you want to not be like them, but – live the experiences that they're having and, and make them your own it's something like you get to daydream and that really puts the passion in there when you have the passion then that you know practicing it doesn't even sound like work it makes it like oh my gosh i'm putting another another day in towards living my dream and it just kind of gets built so i love that you mentioned mentors because sometimes we just can't do it all our own we, we need a little bit of inspiration and just because i haven't done a quote yeah. at this particular show i'm going to do a little quote Ooh. is uh what i remember reading from michael jackson said study the great Great, learn from the great, and then if you can, be better than them. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> and that's uh, inspiration right there. That's a great quote. Yeah. Oh. If, uh, if you can, you know, learn from everybody, have your ears open, your eyes open, especially because this can go over too. People are listening who are writers, say writing a book or writing articles. You know, we all have our mentors and, and you know, study them, have them part of you, but then be you. Right. Be yourself. That's right. And and, and I, I like that quote because what it is, is is that I think that a lot of times, you know, depending on the craft, people get it in their heads that they'll never be as good as as the greats. Right. But 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 I think that if you have an attitude where it's like, look, I'm going to learn from the best, but then I'm just going to do what I do and trust yeah. that. If, if you work hard at it and, and you're passionate about it, that you, you know, that you trust in the fact that you, you will be great, then, and then it's, it's really inspiring to think that, that you could create something that's as, as, uh, that's up there on par with, with, with some of the greats and the people that in your own mind that you look up to. And I think that that's, uh, I think that's important and that's really inspirational. So that's, it's pretty cool. And, and great is in the ear of the beholder too. Yeah, right? it, know, absolutely. It really is. So. Yeah. Well, as we we got our we got two minutes left here, so I just want to first of all I want to thank Coben for sharing like a little bit more time than we thought, but I'm still thank happy. <laughs> Thanks for being on, my friend. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lisa, very much. It's been a pleasure chatting with you, and thank you, Eric. Thank you for oh, having me on and be a part of the show. Yeah, and I think we should all make everybody listening. If you want to, wherever part of the world you are, you fly on out next summer and <laughs> come on to the concert. Because yeah. I'm going to say yeah. that maybe next year we could do an interview or something up there with uh, musical chairs at Atwell Concert Series. Maybe we'll come up one Sunday and talk to your folks because they're a big part of this. They're great people, yeah, that's by right. the way. I've met them and they're the best hosts on the planet and your family. Oh, yeah. You guys got to come enjoy it. That would be, we'd love to do some sort of live off, live uh, from location at the Atwell Concert Series. That'd be just great. That would be cool, yeah. For yeah. Sure. So in my in my closing remarks to everybody listening right now is that what I've really pulled from this and just a, a reminder that we all can use is that, you know what, I love that you mentioned about the greats, Eric, because it is about being our greatest self. And that commitment, it's, that's, what the, that's what our practice is, it's that commitment to ourselves to being our greatest. And whatever craft that you're doing, it, whether it's musicianship, like we said, or uh, writing, it doesn't matter what it is, but just be your greatest self. And just that's what you wake up every day wanting to do the best of that. Yeah. Absolutely. I totally agree. <laughs> so, um, so your last minute, Eric? Well, no, it's been just great having Tobin on. This has been our first live interview. Actually, we haven't even done – this is our first interview. Except for me. She's interviewed me a couple of times. But uh, this is our first interview, and it's just been great having you on the show once again. Thank you very much, Tobin. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.
Okay. All right. So just a, a friendly reminder, everybody, as we close off, is Tobin that spring dot com. Sorry, Tobin spring dot com. Check that out. Etwell series, Etwell concert series dot ca. Is that correct, Tobin? No, no, correct on both accounts. That's right. <laughs> okay. And uh, check those things out, and then I'm done. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, musical chairs next month. Oh, oh by the way, I want to say one thing. This is our birthday. This is our birthday month. So um, happy birthday to Eric this month. Happy birthday to Lisa yeah. this month. October. I love October. It's so much fun, and this is a perfect fun thing. So we're. Well, we don't have time to mention on the next thing. So we've got we do well, Eric and I do have an audio fest um, event coming up, but we'll be sharing with you guys on that on Facebook probably more or less. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll we'll talk to you next month and uh, Light on Living will be back next Monday. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye, everyone. See you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>